Is Josh on his way out? No. Is he? No. I know he's your friend. He is. Did Caldwell Billy, say... Billy, I'm not talking about this. Who do I call? No one. Just tell me who to call. Or you could call 1-800-BITE-ME. Sam? He's not going anywhere, Billy. It's a non-story. Okay. You're lying now, aren't you? That hurts, Billy. Why would I lie to a journalist of all people? Why do you keep looking over my shoulder? Why? There's a woman over there. I think she's looking at me. Really? I don't know. I never know if they're looking or not. Yeah, I think she was. I want to thank you for the casual way that you did that just now. She probably didn't notice that. How you doing, Sam? Let me tell you something. The water pressure in here is really impressive. I know. You can run hydraulics in here. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Your message, your pager went off while you were in the shower. I hit the button because I thought it was mine. POTUS in a bicycle accident. Come to the office. Tell your friend POTUS he's got a funny name. And he should learn how to ride a bicycle. I would, but he's not my friend. He's my boss. It's not his name, it's his title. POTUS? President of the United States. Leo's wife called. That woman hates me. Yes. What do I do? You tried to hit on her at a party fundraiser. She's supposed to give a tour to some students from her daughter's fourth grade class. She can't make it, and she wants you to do it. I'm not a good tour guide. I don't know anything about the White House. Right, you want to call Mrs. McGarry and tell her that? Oh, God, please let this be a national emergency. Cashmere Escort. Uh, hi, you page me? Who is this? This is Sam Seaborn. I'm sorry, there's been a mistake. Who's this? Cashmere Escort Service. Okie doke. Hi. Hi. Can I come in? Sure. <laughs> uh, can I ask you something? Am I a hooker? No, no. What I was going to say is this. Is, is it possible that in addition to being a law student and part-time bartender that you are what I'm certain would have to be a very high-priced call girl? I, by the way, am making no judgments. The thing is, with my job... Yeah. I, Yes. Yes. Hi. I'm sorry to be late. Mr. Seaborn, Mallory O'Brien. Hi. My name is Sam Seaborn, and I'm the Deputy Communications Director. What does that mean, exactly? Well, to begin with, I'm a counselor to the President, mostly on domestic matters, though generally not security-related. I work with Toby Ziegler, the Communications Director, and C.J. Craig, the Press Secretary, on crafting our message and getting it out through the electronic and print media. And while my functions here are generally perceived to be politically skewed, it's important to remember that it is not the DNC, but rather your tax dollars that pay my salary. So I work for you, whether you voted for us or not. Mr. Seaborn, maybe you could give us some history. Sure. I graduated law school eight years ago and started working at Dewey Ballantyne. Actually, I'm sorry to interrupt. Actually, I'm in a history of the building. The White House? Yes. Sure. The White House, as you know, was built several years ago, mostly, if I'm not mistaken, out of cement. The room we're in uh, right now, the Roosevelt Room, is very famous. It is named after our 18th president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. The chairs that you are sitting on today are fashioned from the lumber of a pirate ship captured during the Spanish-American War. All right, kids, I need to speak with Mr. Seaborn. Sit tight for a second. Hi. How you doing? I'm sorry to be rude, but are you a moron? In this particular area, yes. The 18th president was Ulysses S. Grant, and the Roosevelt Room was named for Theodore. Really? There's like a six-foot painting on the wall of Teddy Roosevelt. I should have put two and two together. Yes. Look, the thing is, while there really are a great many things on which I can speak with authority, I'm not good at talking about the White House. You're the White House Deputy Communications Director, and you're not good at talking about the White House? Ironic, isn't it? I don't believe this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, please. Could you do me a favor? Could you tell me which one of those kids is Leo McGarry's daughter? Why? Well, if I could make eye contact with her, make her laugh, you know, just see that she's having a good time, that might go a long way to making my life easier. These children worked hard, all of them. And I'm not inclined at this moment to make your life easier. Ms. O'Brien, I understand your feelings, but please believe me when I tell you that I'm a nice guy having a bad day. And it turns out that I accidentally slept with a prostitute last night. Now, would you please, in the name of compassion, tell me which one of those kids is my boss's daughter? That would be me. You? Yes. Leo's daughter's fourth grade class? Yes. Well, this is bad on so many levels. 